What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we are jumping into the Super Int stage of Super Battle Road with my extreme physical team and honestly I don't know why I never did this in the past because I feel like my old extreme physical team could have taken care of this with no issues but you know what? Now that we have LR Cell we have no excuse not to do this so let's just jump right into it. Here we go. And I don't know about you guys but this looks like an absolutely monstrous extreme physical team to me and I feel pretty good about our chances today. We got this 3 dupe final form cooler as a leader, physical Omega Shenron rainbowed, LR Cell who I expect to be the MVP of today's video by far. Um, unfortunately the Sin Shenron is a little bit weak, he's probably going to be the weakest link on this team because I just don't feel like giving him orbs right now. He has all paths open, but I just don't want to rainbow him at the moment. So he is going to be a little bit weaker than the other units, but everyone else will pick up the slack for him, I'm sure. So not too much to worry about. We have this fully rainbowed, fully extreme Z awakened, full power Frieza, absolute monster. And last but not least for support, we have this uh, rainbow kid boo. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have an extreme Z awakening on global yet, but he's still very good in this state. So I feel good about having him on this team. And we also have a friend LR cell because why the F not? All right, guys. So that is the team. Those are the items that I like to bring. Ghost Usher, uh, Nurse Chi Chi, Aider, and Princess Snake. Let's just do this. And this is going to be the one and only run I'm doing for this video. If we happen to die, no guarantees that we'll actually clear it. So if we happen to die, we die. That's just going to be it. I mean, <laughs> I want to be real with you guys. You know, I don't, I don't want to do like multiple takes or anything like that. Like, if we die in this video, then we're just gonna, we're just gonna live with that. Okay. Sometimes in life, you get knocked down, and uh, you know, you fail. You don't accomplish what you set out to accomplish. That's okay. Just pick yourself back up again and try again. So in today's video, we're gonna try this one time, and whatever happens, happens. Okay. Here we go. Can we get his extreme? Uh, or ultra super off. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think the orbs work out. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know what? Uh, I don't know if Cooler is necessarily a great tank um, right off the bat, at least. So he currently has 65,000. Uh, Cooler has 56,000. Uh, okay, Cooler. I mean, did I say Cell or Cooler before? I was talking about Cell. I'm not really sure how good of a tank Cell is. To be fair, I never really tested him out. So uh, I'm going to leave him where he is right now. Hopefully, he can tank the attacks for, you know, a, a decent amount of damage. Um, and uh, fingers crossed. Let's, let's not die on the first turn. It, it could definitely happen. You know, there's many, many times where I've jumped into Super Rattle Road and they super me like three or four times and I just die immediately. <laughs> But let's, uh, it, it, that doesn't happen too often, so fingers crossed. Okay, we're not taking any, we're not, we're not, we're not taking any supers, but we're not tanking the regular hits for that much either. Like I, I was hoping for a little bit of better tanking from LR Cell, considering he's an LR, and also he does have a decent amount of defense on his passive. Like yeah, like Cooler is tanking better than Cell. What's up with that? I don't know. Well, I mean, Cooler does have more investment in him, I guess. So I guess that makes a little bit more sense. And Cooler is a good tank. I was just really hoping that Cell could perform a little bit better. Okay, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yo, Cell, I forgive you. Don't worry. Um, and we, we should take care of this fight, actually, this turn, which I'm happy about. I should I use an item, though? That is the question. Should I use an item? We're not going to use an item. Okay, I'm going to risk it. Because I feel like we should save the items for later stages when we're a little bit more desperate. Um, as long as we don't get super too many times. Oh my god. Was that a mistake? Oh my god, don't, don't, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me on the first stage. That would be totally embarrassing. I would still have to upload this, and I don't want to do that. I think as long as Videl does not super us, we should be okay. By the way, this video is sponsored by Rockstar Energy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, man. I wish. Yo, I, I drink rock stars every single day. Probably not the best for my health, but it's kind of a like a dependency thing now, right? I'm just I'm I'm just hooked. And uh, if anybody out there knows any reps from you know Rockstar Energy, or you have like a family member that works for Rockstar, let me know, man. Totally like hook hook your boy Tiger up, and I would love I would love to be sponsored by them. I would love to you know do some ad spots for them or whatever. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. I'm just playing. Um, we should definitely heal up here. I think we should definitely heal. Let's uh, use a Aider. 
70% HP, 50% defense for two turns. Such an awesome item. And uh, let's aim for let's aim for Go Tank. I mean, oh yeah. Well, I mean, with with Cell it doesn't really matter since he hits both of them. But generally speaking, you do want to attack the rightmost um, enemy first because they have the least health. And the more enemies you take out, the easier the fight will be for you, right? So just a little tip for those of you who are not super familiar with Super Battle Road or just this game in general, you do want to fight the rightmost enemy first because they have the lowest health. That cell animation, that like super tech animation is dope. I love that. Unfortunately, the damage is a little bit low for my liking, but um, what can you do? What can you do? I think that's part of the reason why people are not super high on LR cell as an LR because he doesn't do crazy damage. But he, he has a lot of versatility. I mean, he, he can heal, he can tank a, a decent amount. He can like somewhat tank sometimes. I mean, it depends on how many enemies there are. The more enemies that you're facing, the more attack and uh, defense he'll get. So right now we're only fighting two guys, which is why the damage is a little bit low. But either way, he is a very good LR overall. And I think people just need to give him, you know, you know more consideration. Maybe like test him out a little bit. Okay, uh, do I, I think I might need to heal up again here, which would suck, but... We only used one item so far, we're on the second second fight, so let's just go for it. Okay, Princess Snake, some damage reduction as well. This is a great item too, if you guys aren't familiar with it. I, I really enjoy using it. Okay, um, here we go. I mean, I, I think enjoy using it is not the right word. It's not like I get like satisfaction from using the item, but I, I just like what it does, you know? You know what I mean? Like, you guys get it, you guys get it. <sighs> Ooh, look at that, 62 damage with the Princess Snake. Okay. Give me an additional. So give me an additional. I mean, his single single target damage hasn't been too good so far, but if you add up the amount of damage he's doing to multiple characters, it's really good, right? Let's say he does like 700k to two or three characters, that's gonna be over two mil, right? If he does like 700k across three enemies, yeah, that's like two mil plus, which isn't bad at all. But if you just look at like the damage he's doing to one character, yeah, it's not it's not the most impressive. I can't wait to use him in, um, in uh, what's it called, World Tournament though. Like World Tournament's coming up for Global soon, and I think he's going to be really, really good for me in World Tournament. I can't not wait, man. I, I've been kind of slacking on World Tournaments recently because I'm just getting a little bit burnt out. Because you can only be so hyped for so many World Tournaments before it gets super stale, right? But now that I have LR Cell and I've seen what he can do on a World Tournament team, like... <laughs> I'm probably going to grind the crap out of this world tournament. Mark my words, I will be doing streams for this upcoming world tournament. And we're done the second stage. Um, and they're going to be some long streams. I'm going to do like at least two, three, possibly four plus hour streams. Because I really want to rank high in this world tournament, guys. Like, I'm, I'm determined. I'm determined. I've... I've been like bored of it for a while and kind of just like slacked off. But for this one, we're going all out. We're going balls deep. Okay, that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> um, but we're going all out. We're going all out. Okay. Um, let's see. What should we do here? Uh, I'm going to aim for trunks. And I think we can actually get his ultra super off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight orbs. Okay, let's do his ultra super on trunks. And uh, these guys can get these orbs. Actually, I probably wasted a few. That was not necessary. It's fine. It's fine. I, I, we're okay. We're okay. Um, don't super me too many. Oh my god. Just uh, right as I said that, this guy decides to big bang attack me. What a dick. I mean, Vegeta's always been a dick, so I, I can't be too surprised by that. But come on, man. Like, I'm trying, I'm trying to make a video here. Like, <laughs> just give me a break. Yo, this animation, though. Look at that. Yo. Okay, my favorite animations, I think the animations that most people like the most are when there are close-ups of the, the character, right? I think the ones that look the best are like, you know, when, when Vegito Blue does like the, the Kamehameha and he's like, like when he's pulling back, it does a close-up on his face. Or when um, Rose, SDR Rose is like pulling out the scythe, it does a close-up as well. Like the, the, the animations that look the best are the ones with the close-ups and I think that Bandai is catching on. I think they're kind of getting a better feel for what people are looking for. Yo, by the way, look at um, look at Boo doing some doing some nice damage too, 750k right there. Of course, I mean he's rainbowed, and I'm I'm guessing you guys are expecting a little bit more out of a Tokon Fest rainbowed unit, which I mean he will be doing more once he gets Tokon Awakening or uh, Extreme Z Awakening. But at the moment, you know what? As a support unit, I I can't complain about that damage at all. Okay, 
Um, ooh, nice. Lots of orbs, lots of orbs. Let's give these to Cell, and we definitely are going to heal up for sure. How much is Cell going to heal me for? Okay, like 15k. Not not terrible. Not terrible. Um, hmm, should I... The thing is, we only have two more healing items, so I don't necessarily want to use that. You know, we're going to do a Ghost Usher. We're going to do a Ghost Usher. Okay, the Ghost Usher, and then next turn, maybe I'll heal... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just like going with the flow right now. I don't really have a strategy in mind. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Get to see that cell animation again though, which is dope. So good. So good, guys. I almost want to slow it down. I almost want to do one times so that I can see it in more detail. But I'm not going to do that because <laughs> I don't want to put you guys through that. And the weird thing is, sometimes when you click one times, right, the button just disappears. Like you, you click one times, and then you, and you're like, okay, I'm done now. I want to want it go back to I want it to go back to two times speed. The, you can't click find the button. It just like comes around randomly when it feels like it. So <laughs> I don't necessarily want to click on that and have to wait for like ten turns for that two times button to come back. Uh, okay, so I I am fairly confident in Cell's ability to kill Vegeta. But you know what, yo, we're gonna we're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it. Screw it. <laughs> if if Cell doesn't kill him with that super, um, we might be dead, which would be awful. But I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna you know hope for the best. I just hope for the best. Come on. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Cell. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we're doing pretty well. I think we're doing quite well. Um, is this the last fight now? Is this the no? This is the last fight. Okay, we can use whatever items we want. We can use whatever items we want on this fight because we oh, we got we got we got one last fight to do. Um, I was being a little bit conservative before because oh my god, oh my god, all so many attacks. Um, I was being more conservative in the past because you know I wasn't really sure if we could if we would need them for later fights. But now we're in the last fight. We have a lot of items. Um, why don't we go ahead and use this Nurse Chi Chi first? If you guys are familiar with this item, it's incredible. It's, a, it's watch how much damage they're gonna do to me with this item active. Okay, uh, let's give Cell these orbs and uh, Cooler can get a super off, which is dope. Um, boo. Mm, no super, no super. Okay, uh, let's just give him one orb here. <sighs> I feel like we're so close, right? We're, we're on the last fight, but I still don't feel like we're in the clear yet. You know, I'm still a little bit nervous about this, about the outcome of this fight. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, four, 67, 44. Yeah, that Nurse Chi Chi does, it, it's almost, it's almost like a Ghost Usher in a way. Well, not, not, it's almost like, um, I don't know, like a, like a double double Yemma. Yeah, like it's almost like a double Yemma in a way, because when you use double Yemma, you basically like negate all damage, right? Like people, everyone will do like double digit damage to you. And Nurse Chi kind of like that, but in one item, right? They debuff the enemy so much that they're going to barely do any damage to you. And okay, uh, Goten is gone. Goten is gone. Super sweet. And uh, let's use... Let's try to use the ghost. Let's use ghost usher. Why not? Why not? Yo, we, we we are free to use whatever items we want in this run now. Okay. Uh, Gohan. Is that gonna be an ultra? That's an ultra. Okay. And then one orb for you and one orb for you. Here we go. Get to see that ultra super animation again. Yo, it's so dope, man. These little cell juniors beat the crap out of Gohan, and then that yo that close up. Yo, Cell is dope. Oh man, I'm so happy I pulled him. I'm so happy I got to use him. And guys, I'm not trying to flex or anything. Like I'm not. And I, I don't want to make anyone feel bad if they haven't pulled LR Cell. Better luck, luck next time for sure. But um, you know, for me personally, like it's just so rare that I get to pull and have the pleasure of using a brand new LR that I'm just like. I'm just so happy, man. I'm just so happy. Like I, I, I never, I never pull a new LR when it first drops. Like it, it, it really like rarely happens for me. Uh, let's just, just to be safe, I'm gonna use a uh, Princess Snake, I guess. I have a lot of them, so I'm not really worried about wasting them. And we're gonna get a Dokkan attack, attack here off actually. Uh, I wish, yo, I wish we could do the Ultra Super, but we can't. So we're gonna go with this, and this should get us the the Dokkan attack. There we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, but I was saying, like, I never, ever get the new LR when it first comes out. It usually takes me, like, 
three to six months at least or six months plus to get that LR. Um, like for example, LR Bardock. I mean, not LR Bardock. <laughs> LR Bardock's, Bardock's not even on global yet. Okay, let me focus first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, got it. Okay. But for example, LR Burex, don't have him. Uh, LR Bojack, don't have him. LR Super Sentry Goku, don't have him. Like, I just don't have any of the LRs that were recently released, with the exception of LR Cell. And uh, I'm just on like cloud nine right now. I'm so happy about this. Okay, okay what can we do here? 1.6 mil. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's okay, Cell. You know what? I I'm not expecting too much of you in terms of damage, but. As you guys can tell, like he does do really, really well on Super Battle Road just because of his ability to get those um, attack all supers off, right? And the more enemies you're facing, the more powerful he gets. And there you have it. Yo, perfect. We are done, guys. My first ever clear of Super Int Super Battle Road. And uh, there was not a better team to take, you know? <laughs> and also, I never really tested out my LR Cell against the real stage yet. So that was a fun experience for sure. I'm, I'm very happy about him. 13 minutes and uh, we got a one stone for that cool <laughs> getting a little bit closer to clearing all the super battle stages let me see what else i'm missing actually uh still got to do super physical still got to do super sdr and still got to do super tech okay so we're we're seven seven four ten at the moment right one two three four five six or six oh oh one two three four five six wait one two three four Four. Okay, so I still have four. I still have four super battle. Yo, that was my first extreme super battle road that I beat. Wow. I mean, at least like super battle stage with an extreme team. Wow. I, I did not know I've been slacking that hard. Okay, well, you know what, guys? Um, maybe you guys will see more videos like this for the other um, stages that I'm missing because I really want to be 10 out of 10. I want to be done all of them before the category ones come out so that I can take on those without feeling like I've been slacking or anything like that. And also just like... Yo, it's like a completion thing, and it's like it's like a bragging rights thing. So, you know what? Expect more videos for Super Battle Road in the near future. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed this mini showcase of LR Cell as well. He's an absolute beast. He's a great LR. I don't know why people hate on him so much, but he doesn't deserve any of that hate because he is an absolute beauty. But anyways, guys, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you like the video, then be sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. Yeah.